Hey, what is up, everybody? Um, I am going to make sure Facebook is set up here. Let's see. There's Facebook. Got the restream on. All right. Uh, just do me a favor. Anybody just type in a little something. Let me know that you guys are in here and I can get started. Just want to make sure I'm all good to go. Hello, anyone? Uh, oh, I gotta log in so I can, let's see, connect. You know, let me connect so I can talk to you guys. Wow. All right, there's that. Connect. That, okay. <clears throat> hmm. All right, where is everybody? I don't see anything. Anyone? There you go, okay. Hey, Sakshar. My, um, okay. For whatever reason, my restream, I don't see any, any people. But uh, let's see. Hopefully they'll pop in there at some point. It looks like I'm logged in. But anyway, um, how's everybody doing today? It has been two, three weeks since I've been on. And uh, a few things have been going on here. There you go. Okay, there's people. Went from two to 43 in like two seconds. Okay. Um, yeah, so let's get started. I am going to do a little something new. Hey, Ivy. Um, I'm going to start a little something new today. Uh, I needed a break from Trapjaw. I've been spending a lot of time on Trapjaw lately, and um, it's going well. I'll show you how it's going, but I just needed a break. So... Uh, I decided to start working on something that's a little less detailed, maybe a little more, um, uh, turn this music down, that's kind of loud, um, uh, something that, that is a little more stylized. So, uh, what I got, hey Craig, alright, so what I have is this, uh, Black Dynamite. Uh, that my friend uh, Brad and I worked on and um, uh, it's a little more stylized I really enjoy the hard surface kind of details on here so and I'm a big fan of Shane Shane Olsen and um, you know all the Disney Infinity guys uh, so I thought I'd do something that's similar to that you know the blocky fingers and everything and the scale is just a little bigger than the Infinity guys but I have I have them and I love them all um, so, did this sculpt with, uh, with like I said, with my friend Brad. He did the base mesh and then kind of came up with the pose. And I went in and, uh, you know, put a little bit of my flavor on there. And we collaborated. And then, what was cool is, he did a print of the guy. So, let me show you how awesome this came out. Hold on one second. I didn't glue it together yet because I want to make molds of this, but let's see. Came out pretty, pretty sweet. Freeze turkey! Uh, and then there's this base here that Brad made, which is dope. And he just kind of sits on top of it. Um, the scale of this thing is awesome. Hold on one second here. i to be very careful because he primed it for me and I don't want to mess it up. But uh, if we pick it up here, you can kind of see that's pretty, pretty ill. Nice big guy. Um, and that's what's on the on the screen there. So what I thought would be cool to do is if we do more of these guys. You know what I mean? Like Black Dynamite is awesome. Like I love the little hand. If you can see this. But um, yeah. So. 
Black Dynamite is awesome. That's kind of like whenever I get up with Brad, we end up usually watching Black Dynamite again. I don't even want to know how many times we've seen the thing. But uh, what I thought would be cool is if we start doing some other characters. And being that we're both big Marvel heads, we were like, oh, well, let's do um, somebody from the Marvel Universe. And, um, man, what, you guys have got to say hello. This is crazy. Um, somebody say hi. What's going on here? Let's see. What do we have over here? Facebook is, like, blowing up. I'm not used to uh, Twitch, and, and, um, Twitch and YouTube being so quiet. Hey, what's up, John? George, how you doing? I'm seeing it now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Grant Cross, what's up, dude? Okay, Ivy. You're you're holding it down for everybody else. Um, so what I thought would be cool is let's do a little housekeeping before I get into the actual thing. And so what I thought was these guys. Unfortunately, both of their shows got canceled on Netflix, so why not show them a little love by sculpting uh, some kind of Infinity-esque type uh, sculptures of these guys. And I just got a, a Pure Ref page where I just pulled a bunch of pictures that I liked. Big fan of this style here. Um, of course, they had to be in the, the classic iconic uniforms from the old, you know, the, the 70s cartoon. Um, and probably we'll do a variation with the uh, with the newer clothes as well. Um, so got some Daniel Bell reference and some cartoons and cartoons, comics and all that kind of stuff. Speculation, what's going on? Let's see, Pierre Rogers. I know that guy. All right. Um, so that's that's that. Now in the meantime, I'm pretty hyped because uh, this is like my chance to do shameless plugs. I was sitting around yesterday and I got a a message from Nike and they said that my my work was on um, Jimmy Fallon so that was pretty dope but it's basically I'll show you what I have real quick the uh, I started working on the, the the Iron Fist I'll get back to that but this is what it's starting like but anyway I did these paintings for Nike I know somebody was in here the other day hating on 2d work saying that illustration was dead and so I'm gonna prove you wrong, homie. Um, I did a bunch of paintings of people. This is what they had on Fallon. Uh, uh, Jesus and Mero were on, uh, and so they have a, apparently they have a show on, Showtime that's coming on. And this was a piece I painted of that. We got a little DJ Sharp, Miles Brown from Blackish. But anyway, this is what I do to get paid. Um, sculpting is fun. But this is my this is my full time hustle right here is illustration. All right, so I thought I'd show you that. Anyway, all right, that's done. Um, back to uh, yeah, thanks, thank you, um, George. Hi, Mike. Came in Facebook. Could you not see the messages? Nice. Yeah, Facebook is not. It's not the best for the messages. Yeah. So I will be looking over here on this thing. So if you're in Twitch or Twitter. Twitch or uh, YouTube, then that's uh, that's better. Yeah, a little bit of painter, a little Photoshop. Um, but what they wanted was a very, um, they wanted a really old school airbrush style. So, um, you know, uh, this is all digital, but I was like, I'm a big, I started as an airbrush artist actually. I used to paint on jeans and jackets when I was young. And uh, it was a long time ago. But uh, yeah, this is all digital. Painter gives you a lot of these like overspray type of effects. But uh, yeah, just bouncing back and forth between Painter and Photoshop. So I had a blast with these. I did a whole bunch of just the shoes, uh, product shots and uh, the people and everything. And it's fun every once in a while because my style is usually so realistic to do something a little more stylized and, and definitely to go back in the day of uh, kind of where my roots are was was really well, that was it was a fun project. I had to do like 13 of these things in a month, so I was blown out. Everybody who I know, um, they kind of saw how stressed out I was, but it was a it was a really fun job. So okay, you didn't come in here for 2D stuff. I know that. I'm gonna cut it off now. Uh, 
typical, yes, Iron Fist coming right up. Iron Fist. The Fist of the Immortal Iron Fist. Um, so this actually is moving kind of fast. Because I don't usually do this kind of work, um, Brad and I, we had the idea. He did the, 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 the guy in the pose and, and shot it over to me. We have like this little workflow thing going. And I went to town and we got this done. Like, I don't know, Brad, what was it? Like, we did this in like a day and a half, got to this point. Um, so, thank you, thank you. So, let's hide this. Now, I'm going to show you. Um, and don't pay attention to my scaling for all this stuff. My scale in ZBrush is, is whack, everything is all over the place. But this is kind of where I am now. I have to give him some eye holes right now he has uh he has just like the, the sunglasses but uh using z modeler i have the karate belt going on and i started kind of figuring out these muscles um and uh there's still a bit to do on him i want to put wraps on his arms and his legs and his shoes i have to make so i'll be doing that and kind of finalizing him right but I'm sure you guys want to see what, uh, yeah, two days max. Yeah, we blew through this. Um, and so, uh, what was I going to say? Yes, yeah, so this guy's almost done, but we started another one yesterday of uh, Luke Cage. And Luke is very early, but here he is. I mean, I did these pants right before I came in the room. Um, <laughs> I did these pants before I came in the room. Um, that's an inside joke. Black dynamite, y'all. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so you can see how Lucy is everywhere else. Everything is really soft. It's just kind of basically working on the proportions. And, again, Brad gave me a base mesh where he did a pose, and I went and kind of played with the pose and the proportions a little bit. And now we are up to here. So if I was to take this dude, right, basically it's going to be like this. And then I got uh, the fist up here, and maybe these dudes are, you know, maybe these guys are doing something like this. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, this is a fun one. Big fan of the uh, the old school comic books. Let's see. Uh, Azorio, 1984. Going well, man. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let's see. Sad thing, Luke Cage got. Can yeah, I know, right? Yeah. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna make Luke Cage and Iron Fist great again, you guys. Um, but before we do, let's. Uh, I'm gonna have a sip of water. And um, also, move Black Dynamite so I don't knock him over. That would be a shame. Move him out of the way. Uh, so the whole idea of these is they print so well that uh, just simply because the, the, the proportions lend themselves to a really, really good print um, that uh, we're going to we're gonna print these, like all of these guys, and just keep going, you know what I mean? Just keep doing them. And I'm also learning how to do molding and casting. So uh, maybe we'll have some stuff for sale at some point, I don't know, maybe something like that. Um, uh, let's see, ba -ba 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 -ba. make a toy line or something. Yeah, well, something like that. I think the thing about it is, um, uh, I have friends, and and I think Brad is probably the 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 most egregious in this. But we're kind of statue pimps. Like we have to, we collect statues, and much to our wives' dismay, uh, spend probably more than we should. So we have to figure out a way to do these things ourselves. And if we can get some toys out of it. And yeah, so be it. Um, all right, so uh, let me show you before I get into this what's going on with Trapjaw because I know you guys are just like, hey man, you spent all these weeks on Trapjaw. What's up with Trapjaw? And again, don't pay attention to the scale because the scale is crazy. It's tiny, I think, compared to these guys. Yeah, look at that. All right, so since I worked on this last. I played with the proportions of his boots and started uh, started figuring out the base. 
did some more detailing on things like the the furry pants and the skull. I put some little wraps, little wrappy wraps on the on the bones. Uh, use my material here. Yeah, so now you can see it. Went in and kind of detailed the skull a little bit. Uh, took out one of his teeth because this the Eternia they have a terrible dental. Um, and uh, what else? Uh, started doing the gashes in his chest and staples, right? I don't know if I had that done before, but I want him to feel really Frankenstein-y. So that is where we are with that. Thank you. Thank you, you guys too kind. Um, hello, Facebook people. I see some Facebook guys over there. Uh, also, since then, I've gone in and started figuring out his arm. I was using some reference from the 19, nope, sorry, 2004 cartoon, which is actually really dope. Um, it was way, way better than I, than I, re, you know, than I remember. Um, reference from Ramel. Shout out to Ramel. Um, Ramel Chopra is probably top three best guys doing this I think I know that I know but yeah uh, so I went and looked at the cartoon and there were some dope ideas for the for the arm and so I'm gonna add this kind of like claw piece to it but you see that you know it's, it's it's getting there it's not too not too shabby right if I'm looking at this one kind of feels like it so if I hide this, I just want you guys to see the entire kind of flow of it. I was going for something that if you rotate around it, it kind of has like a, a kinetic kind of a feeling where it, there's almost like a, a helix type of a thing that happens. So if you rotate around, it almost feels like a, a swoosh, if you will, right? But that's, that's this one. I think it's... Uh, it's getting there. This is gonna be printed at a one quarter scale. It's gonna be big as a mug. So I wanna make sure that all of the details are in there. And I'm working directly with a, a, a friend at Form Labs that's uh, helping me figure this out. So it's gonna be huge, huge. All right, thanks Specky Nation. Thanks person whose name I can't pronounce ICD all right um, so let's get into what you came for which is more than me running my yapper uh, let's get back to let's get back to uh, the immortal iron fist why does that look like that let's see sometimes I fill it with materials and does crazy things. Yeah, I think that's what happened. Yep. I filled it with the material when I put the dragon on his chest. So, that's a thing. Um, that's kind of cool. Okay, this one's done, you guys. I like it just like this. So basically all I'm doing here is I'm looking at anatomy reference, right? Always anatomy reference. Always with reference. All the time. All reference. All the time. You cannot go wrong when you have something to look at. Right? One of my, uh, one of my college uh, um, professors told me one time, you may think you know what this thing looks like that you're painting, but you don't know. You have no idea. So look at the thing. And I'm here today. So shout out to that guy. All right. Uh, let's give him some eyes because he looks kind of weird without eyes. Let's see. You know it's possible to make a painting animation. You know it's possible to make a fan animation if you look at the TIE Fighter. Oh yeah, yeah, Anatomy. yeah, definitely. the The statue is uh is fantastic. It's Andrew Carr's. You 
cannot go wrong. Anatomytools.com. You guys. Seriously, you guys. Anatomy tools. Alright, so I believe there are eyes under here somewhere. Somewhere. Maybe. I think what I was going to do for these actually is just do some. Uh, his foot is going to be in the way, I can tell right now. The other thing with this guy is I kind of exaggerated, right? So if you look at his leg, there's impossible bins. Like it's very swoopy. But again, it's one of those things where if you are rotating it around, it really feels a little more kinetic than it actually is, right? If you just do things like that. So in real life, his leg be broke like a mug, but in uh, toy form, it's, it's pretty cool. So one thing that's bothering me is he does not have any ribs. No serratus. Let's give him some ribs. How long? How long do I practice? I mean, I'm in ZBrush almost every day. I've, I've, that Nike job was large enough that I was able to kind of sit back and sculpt for a while. So um, I've been in ZBrush a lot, a lot of practice. You know what they say, 10,000 hours and everybody can be amazing. So I'm about a quarter of that. Let's, uh, let's get some brushes and do some stuff. All right. So you can see I made a layer before I put this dragon on his chest and I just made, this is all the stuff that's just changes. All right, so I'll just make a new layer. And uh, then I can sculpt in here. And if the good thing is, if I mess it up, it doesn't matter. So let's store a morph target so I can kind of erase back if I need to. Let's go to morph target store. Okay. And then go to layers. And I'm using mostly my clay buildup and the slash three on this one. I want my cuts to be pretty deep. So the slash three is, is nice. Okay, why is it not doing that? Alright, must have had something masked. Masked. So while that statue is good, um, it's there's nothing better than having actual, actual, actual photo reference to look at. So let's look at some photo reference. A lot of body types. This is all coming from 3DSK, I think. I had an account with them and scans anatomy 3d scans those were free but look at this i mean it's pretty it's pretty sweet i can see exactly what i need here and without color it's a little easier to see what's going on so would this be easier in uh symmetry yes but like i say every every time i come in here for some reason, I am just, I'm better when it's in pose. All right, oh, let's see if I can turn this down. Yeah, it's always better too to start at a lower, a lower um, poly count. And the thing that I have to do with this one, I noticed that I'm really having to make sure that I don't go too detailed because the cool thing about uh, this particular style, the black dynamite style, is that, um, as it shall be known from here forth, is that it's uh, stylized. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's looking for super, super realistic toys. That's crazy. Like Chucky, you don't want that. Alright, 
So we can start low. Let's see. What are you using to view your references? Pure ref. P U R R E F. Okay, it's free. You can put a billion pictures on here and then scale in and out. Look at that. Look at that. So much ref. All the ref, actually. I have it all on this one board. Oh, look, I didn't even know I had like screamy faces. Look at that. See? I can work on his face too. It doesn't get any better than this, honestly. I want to make sure that the body types of my Danny Ran and Luke Cage are very different because that's the that's the cool thing about these guys to me is that they're you know one is a very small Bruce Lee type of frame and the other one is like a big bruiser um, so it's a nice juxtaposition I'm just looking for a little something that I can use for reference. Hey, no worries, guys. That's why I'm here. Oh gosh, please don't crash. I was talking to somebody about this the other day. I, I'm a recent PC con convert, I guess. Um, I've been using Mac all my life and uh, and in fact, this machine behind me, I built it with the help of, uh, of, a, of a friend. And um, before that, uh, I only knew Max, right? So I would, I would use ZBrush on that. And I noticed that on a PC, when you save, you can't do anything else. You can't turn up the volume, you can't do anything. Like ZBrush is like, yo, I will quit this thing right now. What do you want to do? So I don't remember that happening on Mac so much. However, if uh, if it crashed on my Mac, I didn't have a uh, like it didn't do that 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 save that it does on the PC. So I would much rather just try not to do anything when I'm saving than lose work. Okay, this arm is in the way. Now the only thing about using layers that I find a little problematic is that uh, you can't hide the geometry while you're working I don't think let's see yeah because you start you get these weird like artifacts of color and stuff and materials it also happens to me when I uh, that also happens if I am recording and I try to um, bake down the layers um, it will it will give me that weird uh, kind of a hodgepodge of, of digital material painting you got to stop it first so, and again I'm just kind of blocking in stuff this is how I this is how I do these guys I'm not real worried about the uh, how right it is as long as I get the form then I can go back later with the H polish when you hit it with that H polish man it just makes it look like you really meant to do every little thing so and again just using the slash 3 to carve in a little bit of this detail and then smooth it up oh look at that you step up in the details and look it looks looks pretty trashy so the way you get around that is just uh, smooth as you step up and then repeat the details
So this is good because I know I've, I've had people ask me to do anatomy stuff in here before. And it's not the super realistic stuff, but I mean, same muscles, right? You guys know. Look at that. Step up, it's ugly. It's very easy to fix. All right, and then I can just build it up some more. Favorite character from the comments. Hey, thank you. When I was little, my dad, the, some of the first comics he brought me home uh, was Spider-Man and uh, actually Spider was it Spider it was Spider-Man, Luke Cage, and Iron Fist, and um, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, Captain America and Falcon. I think he just kind of was looking for characters that are books that had black characters in them, and uh, and man. I was such a fan of those guys. thing about about doing these muscles too is that it's a lot of back and forth and just being patient until it looks good but it certainly does not start off that way patience grasshopper Lot of rotating because something might look good from one angle and then you just see that the volumes are all terrible from the rest of them so imagine this but on a much larger scale and there's trap jaw I'm gonna come back to that by the way I just figured we all could use a break from that. I've been working on it for so long. All right, uh, let's see. You know what would be nice is, uh, let's finish tightening up some of these muscles on its back actually. If anybody has any questions about anything I'm doing, just let me know. Let's see what's going on on Facebook. Not a lot. Facebook's pretty quiet. Do I have to refresh every time I go on? This is... No. All right. Serratus is off. Up, oh, anatomy Nazi. You're an anatomy Nazi, dude. I'm not done yet. <laughs> I'll fix it. Thank you for calling that out for me. Thanks for making me look bad in front of all my friends. Jewish Impact Films. Thank you. That's all good. Also, very, very uncomfortable that I use that term and I see the name of your your thing there. Sorry about that. I was using that before I looked at who you were.
I guarantee you this is not gonna have perfect anatomy, not by a stretch, but because it's stylized, you will not probably care. And if you do, you're a jerk. So there's that. I'm just kidding. Thanks, Dalton. I really want this guy to not be too thick, so I gotta chill out. Um, I'm looking for more of a Bruce Lee. I probably should have some Bruce Lee type of reference here. And he's a superhero too, right? So you don't want him to be scrawny. But at the same time, like I said, I want him to definitely be different than Luke Cage. So let's actually open up my base mesh for Luke Cage. I think that'll help me. Okay. Because my pen is broken into the water and I wouldn't tell you to do that. Oh man, no, that's not good. That is not good. Alright, there's Luke. Still, I got a lot of stuff to figure out on him, but um, let's see, let's move that. But it's helpful. Step down. Can we step down? Oh, there it is. No. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Luke and Danny. What's up, side effects? Be more lean. 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't want him to have a lot of muscle mass. I just want I want it to be very like low body fat, um, just cut. So, because that's a really nice contrast contrast with uh, with Luke. some wraps on his legs too. Let's see, did you start sculpting in the final poses modeled in the T-pose first? Yeah, I can show you. So I'm gonna show you the original T-pose model, which you guys gotta be cool, man. I'm gonna show you this. We spent almost no time on this model and the proportions are very different. So be cool, all right? Don't, don't, not be cool. Let's see, uh, Iron Fist. Iron Fist. Uh, block, all right. All right, there you go. That's what he was. And you better be cool. But the good thing is he went from this to this in literally a day and a half. Day and a half. Brad threw him in an awesome pose. And then I went in and started doing things. Let's see, do you ever have classes? I do have classes. Um, I have a class that's available on demand with um, Ryan Kingsland. I'll get you the link. Um, I'll get you the link to that. It was a live class last year. Side effects, hello again. Brad Grobman. <laughs> Be cool, Brad. No, Brad had this base mesh that he threw together in two seconds. And so. But he also rigged it and posed it. And by giving me a banana's pose, all I had to worry about was just tweaking the, the base mesh. And that's all it is. Oops, wrong way. thing about doing this uh, almost like planar type stuff is you have to, for me anyway, I have to be, you know, I can't, you know, it's really easy to go too far, you know, um, and over, kind of overdo it. So there's areas that I'll dial back and then areas that, you know, I'll make a little more crisp. But uh, I think having a little bit of both is what really makes the piece pop. Right. Just like the little detail. Oh, Jesus, there goes the. Brad, you're gonna have to send me another one. No, it's good. Um, just like the details in the. Uh, like the details in the. If you can see this, like the pants, they just hold up really well. Like uh, down in the. 
the cuffs and stuff. So that's nothing but a little hard surface. That ain't nothing but a little uh, H, H polish. And you can see it keeps all the detail. Look at that. Boom, even the stitches, son. What you know about it? Sorry. It did drop down right by the, <laughs> by the, <laughs> the microphone. Sorry, guys, that's my bad. I had to stop watching Mike. He was spazzing out and broke my eardrums today. It's not ants, it's dropping black dynamite. It pretends to be, oh, see, can't do anything. I was just reading the restream and it's like, are you gonna read this thing or you want me to save? Can't do both. It's one or the other. Oh, the link, um, yeah. Uh, let's see, sorry, hold on one second. This is not the new one. Um, hmm. Okay. Let me reach out to Ryan. I'm sorry. I thought it was. I thought you could get on it right now. But uh, do me a favor and DM me on anything. Um, uh, it's at Mike T Art Works. Right, my TR works. Yeah. So, yeah, hit me on um, like Instagram or Facebook or my email is just Mike at my TR works. Everything my TR works. And uh, remind me because I will forget, and I'll uh, I'll take care of that for you.
right I think what I want to do now let's see um, I think what I want to do now is the belt let's do those right so all I did for the karate kind of belt pieces is I just copied this piece of geo from his head um, so let's let's go in and kind of redo that because um, I want it to look just like the belt around his waist and you can see it's like super super loose and let's see okay so that's all there is no more um, there are no more subdivision levels this is all just kind of what it is I don't want these hard creases here, so I'm going to delete some of these, some of these spans. It, uh, if I hit auto groups, it's keeping this as one group. I want them separate. Look at that. this yesterday it's not giving me a new polygroup which is really weird I don't know why it's doing that I'm hitting command W to try to get a new uh, control W sorry to try to get a new polygroup hmm. let me just go to polygroups because it's not it's not doing it Oh, growing out the, uh, no, um, all I did was just grab, if I switch the lasso, it's easier to see. If you do a, uh, selection, right, where I have like a clean, um, like a whole span is there, then if I hit grow, I can just grow out and select. I, I do that a lot to isolate, isolate things. And see, then I have one piece of geo on its own thing. So now if I like split this, split hidden, it still won't let me do polygroups. I don't know why it's, I don't know why it's doing that. That's very weird. Turn off double, is that it? Nope. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I tried auto groups. Uh, okay, so let's do this. Get rid of the edges. I'm really only concerned with one side of this. Everything else is kind of it's gonna go. So let's delete hidden. And then if I can just isolate the edge, then I'll isolate. I'll uh, get rid of it. All right. There's that, and I can clean this thing up quite a bit. So I'm gonna poly group by poly loop. That should poly group it. Look at that, man. This is very odd. This particular piece of geo will not. It won't accept poly groups. This is so weird, dude. I've never seen that before. Delete hidden. How about now? Oh. Let me try something. Look 
that works on that. What is up with this belt? Hmm. Has anybody ever seen that? Restart? No, it was doing it yesterday and I restarted since then, so I don't know what the deal is. Whatever it is, I don't like it. I'll tell you that much. So I think what I will do is uh, I'm just going to I'm just gonna remake this. I think. I mean, I, I probably don't even have to. Let me just let me just clean this up. Delete some of these things. I'm gonna get it a little more simplified. Without being able to group it, it makes it really difficult to isolate this thing. That's all I'm saying. If I clone it, maybe, I don't know what it was doing it, but let's see. Let's clone it. Nope. fashion way all right gets the job done it's not pretty extrude this but before I do let's just copy and paste it back onto the the other one I want to make sure that it lines up properly copy and uh, where is he right here paste all right this one I don't want anymore delete this and turn off solo So now I can kind of rotate the end here to fit back where I want it in the belt. I'm just going to tuck that in. You can get really precise with your uh, with the things on the belt you see Uh, okay, 1982. Uh, 
15. Hey, pro, what's up? What's up? Hello, everyone. So that's pretty much what I wanted. Um, now before, let's do this. Before I extrude it, what I can do is I can duplicate this, right? Mm, mm, mm. It will not let me group it. It won't let me poly group it. So weird. Um, all right, so I'm just going to solo this out and then turn on the other one. The other belt. The other belt, there it is. There it is. Turn off solo. There you go, so now I can Kind of, instead of having to do this all over again, I just kind of rotate it and fix it. Personally, I dislike ZBrush. How dare you, Watermelox? Um, camera controls are hard to get used to. Burn the heretic. Burn the witch! <laughs> So this is the duplicate, right? Right? Yeah, okay. We are dispatching a uh, an assault team over to Watermelon Ox House's house right about now. Pixelogic Ninjas. Take care of all this crazy talk. Not dynamic double. Now the good thing about this is it does not have to match this curve at all. I just kind of had that as a as a placeholder. Um, I, I'm much more concerned with about, with uh, having some clean topology than you know trying to match any particular curves here. So once that is there, turn on the other one. Okay, I'm going to delete the, the one that isn't just a single face, single sided face. Uh, delete, delete, delete. And I have some duplicate subtools here that I need to get rid of. I think, let's see. Yeah, no, it's not that. I thought it was that uh, yesterday, but the color is on. Let's try it again. That'd be crazy if it was that, right? No, line and fill are both on. What if I turn off the fill? Now do it. Nope. just doesn't work. I don't know why. Very strange. Let's see. Da, 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 da. We'll watch streams to see what others do. More I like ZBrush. Good. You know my whole my whole purpose here is to green eggs and ham this thing, man. 
by the time you're done, you're gonna be wanting to like ZBrush on a box and with a fox. ZBrush, ZBrush, I say. So while this thing is very low and just a single side, it's a lot easier to ma manipulate it. As soon as I get something that's right around here, what I can do is I can give it some, some depth. Let's see, you know, that's penetrating the guy. Yeah, I just want to kind of hide it a little bit behind the other belt. You see. All right. Cool. All right. I think that's it. Yeah. That's good. And do I want them to? I probably want those to flow behind him a little bit more. So let's let that save. Duplicate the subtool using corruption. Yeah, I tried that. ZBrush hard to learn? No, it's not actually. You just have to, you know, be willing to uh, to stick with it. There's so much good. Um... You're having a Facebook? It's gone completely now. Hold on a sec. Sorry. Yeah, there's so many really good uh, tutorials you can look at um, that are free, you know, like on the Pixelogic page, there's a ton of great stuff. And like Joe and um, Joe and Paul are doing that whole ass ZBrush thing and the, the one that uh, Paul does. It's a lot of really good stuff. Where's Facebook? There it is. Anything? Let's see. Love your work, Mike. Thank you. Hey, Adib. Victor, what's up? Peter, what's up? Okay, so let's get back to it. Yeah, Michael Pavlovich, man. Just turn his turn his uh, the speed on his voice to like half, and you'll be good. M Mike gives a lot of information really fast, so. Be prepared to slow that sucker down a little bit. I mean, by sucker, I mean the volume, not mic. I don't. I don't even know how you acquire that much knowledge about a thing. You know what I mean? Like I understand he. He. Uh, he's a pixelogic, you know, kind of a person, but. To know that much is crazy about any application. I can't even tell you how many user years I've been using Photoshop, and there's still a ton of stuff on that that I I don't know. I don't use it. I don't know how to use it. I see people using it. I'm like, wow, man, that's cool. Alright, so I like that. And uh, so let's give it some thickness now, shall we? And I have a feeling when it does, 
all of the faces are going to be the same color, which I can do nothing with, but let's try it. Let's try to Q-Mesh, Polygroup All. Yeah, look at that. I can't do anything with that. I need Polygroups, man. Uh, I'm going to try to export this as an OBJ. Let's try that and then bring it back. I think somebody subject, suggested that earlier. Merge down. Yes. Oh, look at that. It's crazy. I don't know what happened. Got my polygroups again. All right, so no need. Let's just give it thickness. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. There you go. There's one. Two. Okay. Oh, actually, no, don't do that. All right, so I don't want a Q-mesh because where they kind of overlap, it will mess up the geo. So let's do an extrude. And it respects the uh, the different polygroups. And my authority. All right, there's that. There you go. Now we're cooking with belts. Yay, indeed. See how it does in spies with the auto death spies. <laughs> I don't know what was going on. It was it's just a little something to make me angry. George is getting upset. Okay, um, so that's that. So now I'll show you basically how I got that ribbing on there, which is pretty simple. Um, and because I want this to be very uh, stylized, uh, I want some hard edges, right? So harder than they would normally be. So I'm going to go ahead and crease uh, the edges. I will turn down the crease um, tolerance though. So I've got a geometry crease. By default it's at 15. I'm gonna set it down to like a three. Oh, and change it to crease. Would help. Alright, crease. Alright, front and back. And if I turn on dynamic, and it's set at two, so at two it's razor sharp. If we turn it up to four, let's see what it looks like. Should have a nice little bit of a bevel on the one that's creased just a little bit. Alright, so let's change that to let's undo that. Alright. Get rid of the crease. Just holding option and clicking, or alt rather. Sorry, I'm a Mac guy. Alright. Um and let's turn the crease level down to two. Crease. And crease. And then also we want to get these corners over here. Crease and crease. And crease and crease. Okay. So now if I do dynamic and I turn it up to three, we should have a little bit. Let's do it four. That's a little softer, which is that's what we want, right? That's it's better. Okay. Now I can already look at this and I can tell that some of these curves I don't like. That's as easy as just moving moving this stuff around a little bit. something that's interesting so now what I, I'm already I can tell um, what I can tell already is what I meant to say if I could speak is that uh, 
my thickness is going a little wonky in places because I'm doing this move. Uh, I'm moving the pieces. So what I'm going to do is I will do a a re-extract, uh, delete the thickness, and then do it over again. By doing that, it will be super duper clean. Let's do the other one. That way, I don't have to do that again. That's just a single face, I believe. Oh no, that has thickness. I just didn't put the extraction or the uh, creases on it yet. Let's see, hopefully, that's not going through the body. Yep, sure is. Easy enough to fix. Definitely want this to look dynamic. Uh, I also need to keep in mind that it's going to be a print, so you don't want pieces that are going to break. Uh, I will end up making these belts like super duper thick, just because you don't want them to break. And when I go to the when I go to make a, a you know a mold and cast these, I want to um, I don't want to have any problems demolding. Snake hook does some cool stuff too. Remove elastic. Let's see. I'm sure there's guys that are like, why aren't you just using Marvelous Designer? Because that's cheating. Cheaters never win. Also, their belts, it's not that big a deal. I didn't have to do that. Okay, maybe for support this one touches the other belt a little. All right, and just another point of contact, which strengthens this whole deal. So let's re-extract this for both of them and uh, crease it up a little bit. Let's see. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I fixed by merging to another sub. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. I just merged it down and it fixed the problem. So I had to split it first and then remerge. How to 3D model? I don't know. Very carefully. So since we give missions, okay, this one was amazing. Yeah, no, I love the gizmo. Just like full disclosure, I learned 3D or two and a half 3D rather with uh, ZBrush. Strictly illustration before this, um, painting and drawing. So this is my first real package. I started learning Maya since then. Um, 
I've been using ZBrush about five years. So anybody that's wondering, can it be learned in a, you know, pretty short amount of time? I would say yes. I don't think five years is a very long commitment. Um, so yeah, you know, having a background in uh, in two D helps. You know, it's kind of like when you see these the old masters. They always kind of painted and sculpted it as well and it helped him figure out forms and light and all that good stuff shadow let's delete hidden all right now i only need one of these faces his body's on our right i believe yeah so i'm gonna keep the i'm gonna keep the outside face i will delete the inside face uh oh Oh, these are connected. Are they? No, they're not. What are you doing that, man? Let's get rid of this edge. Delete single poly. Delete single poly. All right, and then I want to delete poly group all. No, not that one. Click it on the orange, dude. Okay, and delete the blue. Excellent. And delete this and this. Okay, so if I throw my crease on here now, uh, when I extrude it, hopefully it should be on all the edges. If it's not, I'll just redo it, but it should be good. Throw that on there. Okay, now let's give it some thickness. Uh, extrude, where's the body again? Body's there. Okay, I'm gonna flip these because I want it to extrude the other way, actually. You can see already where it's penetrating. That's good to see because I can fix it before I extrude. This nice and nice and thick. Right, so if I just click, it should give me the same. Did it? Yep, same deal. Okay. Uh, let's see what it looks like. Dynamic. Okay, it didn't get the edges for me because they weren't there, obviously. So let's get those corners. So it keeps that nice square shape. A little crease here, crease here, here and here. You know what I'm saying down here. You get a crease and you get a crease. Okay, those are already done. That one's not done. All right. So now this thing should be nice and blocky. There you go. Okay, so it's clean, right? But it doesn't have that cool little ribbing that uh, that the rest of the belt has, that karate belts have. Just fix this up a little bit. This is like honestly where all the time is spent just going in and just just nudging things just a little bit so that the the contours are better. It's all about the contour on these things. All right, so let's give it the uh, 
Let's get that uh, that ribbing on there. Where my Luke Cage go? Let's put that back. Let's save this first. Save that is. Get the rough Luke. Low res Luke. What am I doing on time? 227. All right, so maybe after I do the straps, I'll move on and start doing a little bit of the Luke so you guys can see how I got from this kind of a blobby blob state to. Um, to this, you know, more of a clean, clean thing. And I'm gonna fix the, uh, fix the ribs too. From a friend, um, the first, let's get the ribs on the belt, shall we? Get the belt ribs. Uh, what's important about this is I need to polygroup it so that I only have to do this really once. And uh, so it's easy enough to do by just kind of isolating the edges like that, right? Those are one thing. Let's just group those and then we'll take the front and back and also make those a polygroup. All right, let's make them a color that I can see. I don't know why it keeps it so close to the other color, but there you go. All right, there's that. Sip of water. Let's see, Victor Guzman, what's up? Miguel, what's up? Uh, Deeb, hey. Thank you. Anything I missed here, let's see. Ba -ba -ba. Marvelous designer made. Marvelous designers. Ooh! That is a burn. I see some really good stuff coming out of Marvelous Designer. I'm just hating. Because I'm not that good at it. I have friends that are really fast and really good. You know, the only beef I have with Marvelous Designer is, um, and I think they're addressing it, is just getting some nice, clean quad topology UVs. Because um, I know it brings in the uh, brings in the triangles. I know there's a way to bring in quads, and I know there's a way to convert it. But uh, if it's not a problem with the UVs, it's a problem with the um, the uh, what is it the, the the seams don't stitch together everywhere. And so when I go to smooth, they all just kind of just pull apart. So anybody in here who knows how to get a bulletproof, you know, every time it's those seams stay straight, please send me a link, man. I need that in my life. Make a girl too. Yeah, sure. You know what? I actually we we are really kind of excited about uh, about these uh, Hell's Kitchen guys. Um, so uh, Jessica Jones is probably going to happen soon. Um, definitely want to do a Daredevil after looking at the Iron Fist, and so maybe we'll just do a whole. Uh, I'm not going to call them the Defenders because they're not really Defenders. That's not what they're called. But the the Heroes for Hire. I get real upset when I see that whole Defenders thing. That's not what they're called, okay? Uh, so let's switch back to the Z Modeler. I also love Marvel. Of course I saw Infinity War. It was awesome. Hellcat would be dope, actually. All right, uh, so let's now insert some um, some uh, multiple edge loops, actually, and I'm doing it. Da, 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 let's see. I think that's yeah, that's perfect. That's what I did on the other one. 
so that's on both sides of that one. Now, what if I just click if it'll give it to me? Yeah! You gotta love Z Modeler, man. Come on. You gotta love Z Modeler, you guys. Alright, so now what I can do is I can just grab the. Um, I wanna grab the orange and I want to. Uh, I don't remember if I inflated or I just extracted. It was one or the other. But I do wanna. I wanna make the green edge part of that poly group. Right, so now if I take that and I go to extrude, look at that. Ribs. For my pleasure. Right, so if I turn on dynamic, it should look. Okay, I'll tell you what happened. I had creased edges and I don't want that. So let's see if I can get rid of that. Step back. I wonder why it's creasing. Let's see. I, I'm inserting. Oops. Insert multiple edge loops. But it's keeping the crease. So I think what I need to do is I need to delete the crease and then put that in afterwards. Alright, so I'm going to do that now. I'll just go to the crease. Get rid of it. Because the whole thing that sells them as ribs and not just, you know, just these hard edges is uh, that it's soft. Right. It's like, it's got a nice rounded edge. Let's try it again. Insert multiple edge loops. Put those in there. You gonna do it? You gonna do it? What are you doing? Oh, there you go. There. All right, good. As you see, the creases are gone. So let's do the same thing for this one. I'm going to decrease. Decrease. Uncrease. Get rid of those. And then insert multiple edges. If I click, we'll do it. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Sweet. All right, group these. Now it should work. Uh, before I do that though, I wanna crease only the outside edge. One more time. Crease and crease. And this edge and this edge. Here and here. All right. So now if I extract, it should do what I want it to do. I'm going to do what I want to do. All right. And I'm just picking a color that I like. Something that's a little different. Okay. Looks good. Dynamic. There you go. subdivision level a little bit. And let's see what that looks like. That might be a little thick on that. Uh... Yeah, it's a little heavy. A little heavy. And you know what? I don't particularly love the fact that the end looks like that. So let's address that, shall we? ends and make them their own polygroup. Okay, that's group. And then that should keep that end from getting, you know, all weird looking. Now, 
let's extrude and I want to see the other belt so I can see about how far I did the extraction I don't want it to be too too big is it doing it all right there you go yeah that's good turn on dynamic I think that might be it It's doing a thing here where just that end is not giving me the effect that I want. So, one more thing. Sometimes it's trial and error. You know, doesn't always doesn't always work out exactly right. So, let's add an edge loop. Insert a single edge loop on these ends here. Where's the other one? Before I leave, let's uh, let's give it a poly group all the way around. Poly group by poly loop. Like that. All right, that should keep that in from looking bananas. And do the same thing on this one. Insert poly group by poly loop. Also want to have oops. I want to group these and I want to group that end as well. Alright. Third time's a charm, you guys. Now I can see right here this is gonna be an issue. Let's get rid of this crease. There's no reason for a crease here. That and let's get rid of the crease here as well. Is that the one I just did? Yeah, okay, all right, it's gone. Now we'll give it thickness. You guys still with me? Hang in there, it's gonna be worth it. I guarantee you. Extrude, poly group all. here is add a holding line insert 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 on its set all right and we put a holding line here and that's going to keep that in from getting all wonky and a holding line here all right so that'll keep it. If you need a ZBrush, uh, when you don't have that extra edge loop there, this end doesn't know what to do and it, it softens up, right? So now if I turn it on, you see I have that kind of a thing, which it's not exactly what a karate belt looks like, but I like it. And then you see over here where I didn't do it, it's all kind of whack. I, I can fix that just by going and inserting a few holding lines here too. Just an edge loop here, and an edge loop here, and then that should look better. All right, that's actually, that's not bad. Okay, uh, so there's that part of the belt, there's that part of the belt. Now we have a whole karate belt. I'm gonna make it a yellow belt. Uh, let's do some wraps on him, and then I'll move on to Luke. So I think I want to do wraps on the, I know I want to do wraps on the legs, right? Because I don't like the version of him with the short pants. Um, I don't love that look, right? And I think Daniel Bell figured out a really nice workaround by putting wraps on his pants. Like that's a, that's a sweet look. Shout out to Daniel Bell, by the way, like this easily my favorite sculptor of all time. I mean I, I have a lot of I have a lot of really 
people that I really admire, but Daniel Bell manages to take guys who I'm not even a huge fan of and make them look amazing. So, if you're not familiar with them, look them up. B E L. Daniel Bell. Okay, let's see. Uh, which part did you like the most from Infinity War? Mm. Oh, uh, I like the scene with, uh, I don't remember what his name is, um, Thanos is, uh, I want to call him a horseman, but his, uh, his, the guy that uh, Tony Stark called Squidward, I thought that that guy was just awesome. And I love the design of all of those, like his, his core, core uh, heralds, I really thought they were amazing. There's a lot to like in that movie. Let's see. If you like Marvel movies, you should also check out Stravos. Uh, okay. Yeah, no, Stravos is dope. I looked at his. Uh, I looked at his stuff. In fact, I just finally watched Ant Man and uh, the Wasp, and uh, it was really, it's really nice. I don't know exactly what parts are his, but I know that he he gets down on on those movies. <laughs> All right, so let's grab his legs. I think I have them. I do not. I thought I had them. Um, all right, let's do this. I have the knee separated from the leg. This was important because I was running into issues posing the calf where it was deforming on the thigh, and I didn't want that. So what I can do now is I really can grab what is essentially his shoe. And I know that after that should be a clean edge loop, which it is. Okay, so if I go back to the shoe and group it, and then grow it. I think that's probably where I want it, right? So then if I just hide that part and group this part. Mm, it could be a little bit, it could be a little bit more. All right, let's grow it out some more. Okay, that's cool. So I want those straps to fit in this space, and then uh, I want the shoes, like if I really think about it here, I want those shoes to look like karate shoes. Let's, uh, let's isolate this part. Address that heel a little bit, but you know what? I'm not mad at this at all. All right. Uh, let's do the same thing for the other foot. And I know what you're saying to yourself. So just poly groups, man. You haven't done anything. You gotta wait for it. As long as I have a nice clean edge all the way around, then when I grow, uh, I get a I get a clean clean set of loops, right? Now let's say like this is my group right here, right? But let's say I go and have something like this, and I grow it out. There's no way it's ever going to get. I'm never going to have a clean clean group here because I didn't start with one, right? I could shrink. It does the same thing when you shrink. Let's say it's clean. And I want to have uh, the shoe a little higher. I can shrink it down and then group that and I'm good to go. So I use that all the time. Like I love it. 
So now if I come back over to just this part of his leg and I, actually let's do this. Let's go to just the shoe and grow that out. Before I do, I need to see how, how long I made the other one. So let's do a quick little screen grab. Let's move Mr. Luke. Shift S so I can see what it looks like. I just made a little screen cap on my screen here, which is a good place for a screen cap on your screen, and then grow it out. And I have something to kind of look and compare. Compare. That looks, looks about right. All right. So now if I hide this, group that. Booyah. Okay, and I can also fix the uh, this shoe. So let's do the same deal. I already have that shoe there to look at. So let's. the shoes all I'm gonna do is just an extract and then I'll figure out a very simple sole for them uh, so what uh, I can do now is I can just select both of these kind of karate shoes ninja shoes group them mask them invert the mask actually you know what I'm not gonna do it that way I want it to be super clean so what I will do is I will go back to the shoe making it a color I like I don't know why like for whatever reason I think it's some kind of a cruel joke that as as amazing as um, polygroup is it always selects a slight shade different than what the, the, the group next to it is like no matter what you do um, just kind of like some cosmic joke so I'm going to now clone these shoes right uh, go over to just this is just the shoe and I'm going to because I know that heel is kind of not what I want I'm gonna select some more of this geo from both pieces can delete hidden I think I have to delete the lower poly groups first let's say complete and no did it and uh, delete higher okay so now I don't have any higher subdivision levels and if I try to flip back I don't have any hidden geometry I can just group this part and now what I can do is I can do an extract. I have double on now, so if I turn off double, you'll see that you don't see the inside faces. Okay, uh, so I'll go to extrude, polygroup all, and let's give it some thickness, not a lot. Right, uh, that's pretty good. 
It's doing a save. I'm glad it's doing a save because I can't remember the last time I saved. And sip of water. Let's see what else is going on. Yeah, exactly. By the way, yeah, exactly. Shift us. It's a feature, not a bug, you guys. I said the Emerald Door. Yo, I just saw a movie that was bizarre. If you guys have not seen Sorry to Bother You, man, oh man. You gotta watch that movie. I'm not gonna say anything until after you watch that movie because it is not the movie I expected. Very different film than what I expected. All right, so there's that, right? I'm going to now uh, duplicate this. And I think I wanna Z remesh it just because I originally had a split toe and I don't like that geo up there. So let's see what happens if I just do a Z remesh. Um, turn down my adaptive, I'll turn up my curve, and let's do, let's see what half looks like. Hmm, that's clean, son. Well, kind of clean. No, maybe not so clean. Hmm. Uh, okay, I know what to do. Let's only keep the outside faces. Delete hidden. Now's even mesh. That's clean. Oh yeah, I like that. I like it a lot. So let's now flip this. I have, I do flipping so much that I have it assigned to my UI. And I'll just regroup them. So now I can, by flipping it, I can extrude inward or Q mesh inward, either one. But I'm gonna extrude. I don't want any weird topo. And I can make it thicker than I want because what I can do now is not have to worry about these faces, uh, about there being any, any gap between his foot and the, uh, the shoe if it penetrates. All right, so that's not bad. The heel is a little, it's a little wonky here, so let's uh, let's see what we can do about that. I think I can just do some selective stitching and fix that. I'll just uh, hover over a point and switch to stitch, and then I can kind of stitch these points down, get a more of a, a natural kind of a curve at the top. Straws is kitty, right? Like, I, I'm sorry, man. I always forget that. I, I think that is right. Because I went to your Twitch. And uh, I hate to talk about you like you're not here. Pretty sure that's you, brother. Brother man. Everything is on top. Everything is on top. There it is. There you go. I don't even know how loud the music is, you guys. If it's annoying, let me know. Down. 
stitch and stitch and that oops and move now I can tell you already what's going to happen here is I'm about to about to extrude it inward again I do this quite a bit where I refine my uh, I refine my geo and then I find that the inside is just kind of not clean so I just do it over again it's, it's pretty easy just to do it over again try to get this heel shape Pretty, 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 pretty good. And really, I mean, nobody's going to see that inside, but let's just do it anyway for the heck of it. I'm going to try to do a little bit of a uh, deform by feature, polish by feature, rather, and see if I can get that heel a little bit more round. Let's polish my features. Yes, on. And I think that fixed the inside too. Let's see. I can live with that. Just pull this up a little bit. All right. That is a slipper you guys and I'm gonna it looks like it what it did is uh, it kind of got rid of some of those angles that I liked but that's okay I reshaped this thing already a bunch of times And I will be putting a heel on, not a heel, I'm sorry, a, uh, a sole on this soon. I just got to have a sole. It? it looks like it got really puffy. So let's copy this, take it back to the legs. Let's see. I want deformation. I want polygroup. Subtool. I mean, not polygroup, subtool. Copy. Let's call these shoes. Copy. Let's go back to the thing. Yeah, there we go. Um, okay, so this is just the whole leg and the foot, and we can paste. Okay. So I need some work. Uh, also, <laughs> I made the front too low. It kind of looks like he's got some, like, uh, I only need high heels on this thing. Alright. We need some work. It's cool, I can just remesh it. I'm trying to fix it. Not a good look. This is what happens when you cut away too much of the shoe.
that heel is too high too. There's a reason I have this reference here. Not he would be wearing high heels. Three and I'm done at four. All right, as soon as I get these shoes squared away, uh, I can either move on to Luke or I can do the straps on his legs. So you guys tell me. This is the group participation part of the show. Outside. I don't need the inside. And I think I'll get a better retopo if I lose the inside. So let's do that. Delete hidden. And go back to my geo. And zero mesh. Okay, and it goes back to the one white, one red. Uh, let's try something. Let's do a alt Z remesh. It's exactly the same. Hmm. Z remesh. All right, that's half. That's actually, yeah, that's good stuff. Okay, that 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 makes more sense. Just give it a color so I can actually see it. Oh, don't do that again, dude. What? Oh. Wait a minute. Okay, I don't know. I thought I was doing that thing again. All right, let's just make this a little bigger. Geometry is a lot better. Clean. All right, I don't see anybody saying what they want me to move on to next. You guys don't care. I'll stay on. I'll stay on this if you uh, if you don't have a preference. Let's see what Facebook is saying. quiet today. Okay. 
Man, I'm glad I dropped that down. This, you can ask for better edge loops than that. That just worked out really nice. Well, I mean, this one's perfect. This one's not bad. All right, you guys are cool with this? I'll stay on this. It's your string. No, it's your string. I am here to do what you guys want to see. For me, I would be watching Black Dynamite again, probably. So we're working on a more stylized character. Yeah, well, the, the, the Luke is also stylized. It's just uh, much earlier in the process, so. But I'm down for whatever, whatever you guys want to see. So now let's give this some thickness and it should look more like a karate shoe than a ballerina shoe. Flip. And let's go to Z modeler and give it some thickness. There you go. And let's give it some edge loops. Do I want to give it edge loops or do I want to crease? Let's do the crease again. What the heck? Geometry, crease, turn it down. I wish it didn't automatically default to like the highest crease level. Oh, crease. Yeah, I'm doing the wrong place. Right, crease, complete, boom. Oh no, I don't want to do that. Let's say partial. Partial. Yeah, that's good. And on this one, crease, crease, and crease. And actually, I wouldn't mind having a crease down around the bottom of the shoe. And this is where, if you're lucky, the, the loop goes all the way around the sole. I don't know about this one. This might be kind of tricky. Yeah, this is not good. Uh, yeah, see, see what that did there? So I can't get a good crease on this one, but I have a good crease on the other one. And what I could always do worst comes to worst is I could I could just copy and flip the shoe it doesn't have subdivision levels um, but let's just see what this looks like it's gonna have a sole anyway so it's you know it's not a big deal all right so as you can see super duper soft I must not have creased the Hmm, thought I did this one. <coughs> I missed it somehow. <coughs> Let's get some water. Straps, man. All right, dude needs straps today. I'm with you. Stick to this. Ba -ba 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 -ba. You got it. Specky Nation. Otherwise, he's wearing Crocs. You know what? That's a very good call. That is true. This is all so true. Uh, okay. And I'm gonna get rid of this because I'm gonna be putting a soul on there. Loafer fighter. I have a soul from my Spider-Man that I used also on my Gwen Stacy that I might use on my Iron Fist. Somehow that became Bill Cosby at the end. 
I like to recycle things where I can. Especially something like a soul, because that's not, for me, it's not fun to do that kind of stuff. All right, let's get on, let's get on those straps. Uh, side effects, this is uh, Iron Fist. The immortal Iron Fist. <laughs> Shallow approves. Cribs, the Kung Lao edition. Uh, all right, let's get on the straps now. So, um, I have a curb strap snap brush. thing is this guy's got sub D levels so I want to again I'm gonna get rid of all this stuff over here because my shelf is getting kind of messy let's get rid of this see Brad I told you they all go away they don't just hide they're gone look at that boom save as we had a gentleman's wager going on that he now owes me a house All right, so now I can just clone this thing. I will take the shoes as well, right? Let's copy and paste. Okay, now I'll go back up to the lower body and I can get rid of these higher subdivision levels. I just switched to the lowest sub D level. I'm going to delete higher, right? I know I want my straps to kind of terminate at the end of the socks here so let's uh, let's do this I'm gonna hide that I want to see okay I got those let's group all that and I grab those three poly groups to, by just grabbing by selecting the point where they all converge right and then just group them uh, so now I can go back over here, and if I select the line between these two, I should be able to grab these, grab these two as well. Can I? No. Yeah, there you go. All right. There you go. All right. So that's blue. Perfect. All right. So now I can see what I'm doing. I am in feet brush. Exactly. Wish this series would go, man. I'm not gonna say anything. I wanted to like that show. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Quick pick box, and they're still there. Go to your quick pick box, and they're still there. This is the quick pick box right here, right? Where are they? They're not there, Brad. Hey, Nobleborn, Yorn. Uh, okay, so let's get on these straps. Now I don't have higher, do I? No, I don't have a higher subdivision level. So I should be able to, theoretically, draw some straps. Now what I wanna do with this, I wanna make sure that my segments are fairly low. And now if my brush size is smaller like that, which is ideally I want that kind of a brush size, maybe a little bit bigger. That's not bad, but I have way too many segments. So let's go over to the stroke and uh, a curve. And I change the curve step. I believe if I raise it up, I'll get less steps there. Um, make a new one. Z. Wait, let's uh, delete this. I don't want this anymore. Okay. Now it's at 2.7. Yeah, that's that's too much. So let's let's do like a 1.3. What does this look like? That's too much. Sorry, what I was saying. 
I thought my daughter was home from school. Um, one point two five tab. That's good. Okay, so let's keep that. All right, I like that. And now I can draw my curtain straps. Stay on the surface, my friend. Oh, I want to lock this end, by the way. Lock the start, rather. There you go. I don't know why the end is shooting up into space like that. It's not supposed to do that. Pulling away and snap. If I lock the end, it pulls away. Lock start locked in. Okay, let's do this. Let's delete this. Okay. Let's lock the start and the end. Let's see what I can do here. Easy to duplicate the legs, section off, poly loop for extrusion. You know, I believe you're right. You know what? Oh my gosh. That's a great call, actually. Let's not do it this way. Uh, let's do it the smart way, shall we? Uh, I'm going to... this way actually and I can slide these Pink or blue? Which one do you want? Blue? No, no, no not you, Cortana. There you go. Different color? No. Okay, blue. How about blue? How about pink? Okay. <laughs> pink or blue? Green, nice. All right. Perfect. Excellent. And then let's get rid of this one. And all right, good enough. All right. Remove the edge with Z modeler. Yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to use these, and uh, and then I'm going to move them around. Great thing about ZBrush, there's a million different ways to do the same thing. So, there are no wrong answers, you guys. Just multicolored socks. Let's do this. 
this. Let's go to the um, tool and duplicate. Let's delete these two things. Delete him. Uh, I have double on. Let's turn off double. Let's get this out of the way. Anything going on on Facebook? No. Facebook is dead. Uh, okay. So now what I can do is I can. I want to keep all these polygroups, right? But I want to extrude them all at once. So what I think. Hmm. No, I don't. I don't want to do it that way. Do it one at a time, then I can move them. Bear with me on this, you guys. Let's do it this way. I'm gonna come back for the ones in between. Cortana, what do you think about polygroups? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> I don't care what you think about polygroups. I thought you'd never ask. Yeah, you know what? Panel loops is good for uh, for this kind of a thing, but I do not do well with panel loops. I, I just like this is cleaner for me. You know, just uh, just personal preference. Blue or pink? Blue or pink? Okay. So, oh, and that bottom one. Don't forget the bottom one. And there's really a mil million ways you can do this, you guys. So, I'm not saying that this is this is the best way at all. It's whatever floats your whatever floats your boat. The good thing about this, because it's stylized, it doesn't matter that these aren't going to match and look like it's actually wrapped. I just just wanted to kind of at first glance feel like it could be a rent. Uh, let's see, you know what I want to do? Let's do this. Let's flip that and group it. One holly group, then I can hide that. And I can do the same for each of these. Let's this a poly group. this
a I'll do that. There you This is uh, this is super exciting for everyone, I'm sure. So it's starting to it's starting to feel a little bit like wraps here. Oh, mesh integrity. Every once in a while you have some mesh problems. Then you have to go and fix the integrity. If you ever get a message like what I just got, I tried to hit sub uh, our dynamic um, subdivisions. So it's telling me I have 78 edges that are shared by more than two polygons. Um, all you have to do is just go over to, if you get that message, go to geometry. Um, mesh integrity down at the bottom and then you just hit fix mesh and it fixes it super fast and then you just hit dynamic and you see it starts to look more like straps right not a big deal let's hit quick save wow is Facebook like an hour behind That's bananas. Huh, okay. Yeah, I don't know why anyone would possibly 
want to watch this on Facebook, but if you are, I'm so much farther ahead. But you know what? You're not going to hear this until you're at this point, so. I'm like back to future, back to the futuring myself right now. Everyone knows it's the Russians, okay? Alright, and this one. And now, I'm just going to uh, copy a few of these and move them down like rotate and use them again because I don't want to go through this again for the rest of the foot. Um, it's pretty tedious. I mean this didn't take a super long time but it's for me it felt like ages. I'd rather be doing more fun stuff. When you do get the straps right though they look pretty cool. So you know what I'm going to do actually, instead of uh, instead of putting myself through this twice, I'm going to just uh, I'm gonna copy and rotate and use it on the other side too. Might make things more difficult for myself than I need to. So if I add some edge loops, this will look um, this will look a little better. So actually, what I'm going to do is I will go in. Let's do a quick save. Yeah. Give this thing a little bit of a, an edge, and uh, so a little quick save. Let's insert 
loops. Okay, so ideally what I want to do is just a poly group some of these loops and then uh, pull them out. Alright, let's do this top one too, just for the heck of it. And give it some thickness. Let's do a, not a crease. What am I thinking about a uh, mesh? There you go. Just a little bit of thickness. Let's see what this looks like. It might be too much, but it is exaggerated, so let's see. Oh, for crying out loud, more with the, I don't know why that happens, but let's fix it. Fix mesh, dynamic. Hmm, okay. So what I can do now, I can tell you right now what's happening is because I never really split these, it's causing problems. Uh, so an easy way to fix this, like a super easy way to fix this, is to just get rid of the, uh, the edges. So if I go and select just that loop, interesting is where I have the uh, let's do this I'm gonna group those and I need to make sure that these loops in between are not the uh, they're not on the same one as the face actually it's easier just to get the, the faces so let's do that poly group And basically I'm back to where I was before with the straps right and I can just extrude these and it's going to be clean topology they'll be their own thing no muss no fuss as we say in the hood all of my homeboys say that mm, you're gonna get me an edge here man there it is sweet all right, so now we can just select only that. We can delete everything else. Look at that, it's looking like straps now. Delete hidden. Um, we can now do a auto group. Okay, straps. Uh, we can flip this. The great thing about it is when I extrude, I'm going to pull this sucker in like all the way in. What is this one? Looks like I have a rogue polygon here. Yeah, that's nothing. Oops. Where is it? Let's see. Turn on double so I can see what's happening here. Yeah, that's a rogue poly. All right, we're gonna delete that. And uh, turn off double. I've already flipped it. Now I can uh, go back to my Z modeler, right? And I can extrude inward. Polygroup all. What that'll do is it'll give me thickness and then the outside will maintain all of the uh, Let's say all polygons. On the outside, it will maintain the groups, right? And the great thing about this is I, it will be watertight. It'll cut through the legs. So I don't have to worry about any of that. Okay, so let's turn off solo. Now it's super duper clean. Uh, what I can do, let's do this though. Before I do the extrusion, Flip it again so I can see what I'm doing. 
and I just want to fix some of these areas that are just too uh, too thin here. So just soloing it out. Maybe this comes out over on the bottom and under on the top. Strappy. Push that in, let's see. And yeah, push that in, let's pull it, a little, pull it up a little bit. Some of these gaps are okay because that's gonna you know add to the idea that this thing is not a solid piece. It's just a, it's just a 344. I'm almost out of time. I gotta finish this thing. Let's see. Um, So stay tuned later on today. Um, Ashley is usually on the same day that I am, and she's a boss. So um, definitely watch her streams if you uh, if you have time. Um, and then I guess what I'll do is I will come back to I'll come back to uh, working on this next time, right? Uh, uh, I don't know. You tell me. Like, you want me to work on trap jaw is nearly ready to go to print. Um, I don't know. We've had a lot of trap jaw. Let's just call it on trap jaw. I'll show you again when I have some pieces back from uh, the form labs guys, and uh, and maybe maybe I'll order my mold uh, casting supplies and mold supplies and get that done then I'll have something to show you because I mean I think that's a pretty cool you know, it's a pretty cool thing since I definitely want to make my version of that and have multiple copies so I can do a paint and maybe make a few extra in case anybody's interested Saying fix your topology, son. Get those rogue, rogue uh, polys. Don't leave us, Mike. We need your guidance. You'll be fine. I'll be back in two weeks. I always am. Thank you, though. As she said, she'd be starting two hours earlier today. Hmm. Well, that will be good. You won't have to wait very long to see something fresh. All right, cool. So now we can go and do an extraction. And it should look good. Okay. So now I will flip this and extract all. I do want to put this lip in here. It's going to it's going to look cool. So I think I have time to do it. Let's see, what time is it? 3.47? Yeah, I think I can do it. All right, so let's do this. I want to add some loops. Uh, if I do multiple, I should be good. Let's see, insert multiple. Maybe I can get two on, one on either side. Oops, do that again. Insert, no, it does. Multiple does exactly what you think it's going to do. I don't want to do that. I didn't have to do that. Let's do one single edge loop. There and there. 
here and there. What this is going to do, it's also going to help hold the edge, but it's going to give us our little, little bump out that feels like bandage as opposed to feeling just like straps. And it's the little details that really always make the thing look good. So even when you have a even when you have a model that's um, stylized or cartoony, there's no reason why you can't add just some details that really make it feel a little extra, you know, like you set it apart from other things. I noticed the Disney Infinity characters had, they, they walked that line. They always had just enough extra bits to, to really make it cool, but not enough to make it noisy. All right, so let's grab, oh, always with the color that's right next to it. Come on, man. All right, there you go. That, we'll do that, and that, and that, and that is a little thick, but it's okay. It's really thick. What was I doing? I can slide it. It's gonna be hard to see on here, but oh, geez, come on. And that. How are we doing? Three forty-nine. Let me fix these parts before I do it. Slide, edge loop complete. This one's too chunky. That's chunky. All right, so now comes the good part. Now, instead of extracting this out, let's see how much space we have on the leg. Okay, instead of extracting this out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the other ones in. Uh, because I have enough room to do that. So let's go Q mesh, not Q mesh, extract. I don't want to, or extrude rather. I don't want to, uh, I don't want to have any mesh issues. Oh, come on, dude. Not all poly group. All. Okay, so just a little bit, and then if I tap, it should do it for all of them. Tap, 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 and it's okay because I can just pull out the parts that penetrate the mesh. Okay, uh, let's turn on dynamic. Oh, what are those? Are those straps? Those are straps, y'all. Okay, uh, let's give it a little color so we can see what we're doing here. Um, Subtool, come on, man. Subtool, subtool, subtool. Turn off the paintbrush so I can see what I'm doing. And just fix the penetration problems like that. Like that. Okay. And some of these are looking, you know, a little like whoop de doo right now, but what we can do is we can, uh, I can just go and probably, probably go to deformation and polish by features and it might fix it. That's cleaner. All right, and then you just give it a little more thickness. Thick, thick. Okay, now I can take this whole thing, uh, copy, racing now, racing to the finish. Let's call this leg straps, uh, what is this, his left leg, right leg, right, right. Copy, let's go back to the dude and paste. Okay, let's get this color off of here. Let's see if we can get a decent render. Right quick. Alright, 
So those look like straps to me, right? I think that'll work. And especially when we're talking about this kind of a scale, it's gonna look good, right? We're gonna be good to go. So what did I get done today? Got the belt, got the straps, got the footies. Didn't get the eyes. It's okay. Get them next time. Actually, I'll be done with this next time. I'll be working on Luke next time. All right, any other questions before I get up out of here? Let's see, everything is cool for me and I'm a newbie. Was that the stream alarm? That was my son would normally be getting home from school alarm, but he's at track now, so no. Farewell, pleasure to watch your work. Uh, bu -bu 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 class info. Okay, do me a favor, because I guarantee you, the second I log out, I will forget. Just um, uh, hit me if you go to my um, if you go to my Twitch, it's uh, at Mike T 2K, and if you uh, give me a follow there, all of my social media is there, all of my um, like links to my website, links to all my other work. If you want to see that Nike stuff I did, uh, it's on the Nike website, and um, I don't have it on mine yet, but I will be putting it on my Instagram. Um, so that's it. All right, uh, 3:54. It's actually I got a couple more minutes. Let's see. Thank you for another. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Learned lots. Specky Nation. Thank you. Yeah. So now I can just take these straps and copy, paste, and uh, make them fit this leg. And um, I don't even, you know what? I think I leave that part skin. That's pretty cool, actually. And then I can put some, uh, you know what I can do? I have five minutes left, so let's do this, just to see what it looks like. Let's go crazy, y'all. Grab this leg. Oh no! All right. That just lets me know I was greedy. It's greedy, but it's saving it, so it's okay. ZBrush is like, not today, homie. That's all the knowledge you can drop in one session. We will now log you out. All right, so thanks everybody for coming and uh, sorry this camera's got me out of the middle of the thing. I will check you next time. I got Z brushed. I got pixoed, son. Um, yep, thanks. I hope you enjoyed it and I will, uh, I'll check you next time. All right, that was Iron Fist for the day. Peace.